Hey there, folks, and welcome to another Backstory. I'm bringing you guys a quick preview to three of our boys' basketball games. Hey, this is the second round of the 3A conference, and starting things off, we got to talk about with Florence. Florence is coming off a big win in the first round. They took care of business as the number 12 seed. They survived number 21, American Leadership Academy, West Foothills. They got the win 65-4, to and it was a super exciting game. Uh, this was... Logan Stenson's coming out party, as I like to call it. The sophomore posted a season-high 21 points and was a big factor uh, for the Gophers in getting this win, as well as a guy we've always talked about in Brandon Farley. He kept things level-headed. He was calm, cool, and collected and made the big shot when it mattered uh, near the end. And while there was a little confusion towards the end as far as, you know, was the game over, was the game not over, as the refs called a foul against ALA West Foothills, which did send Farley to the line with 1.2 seconds left in the game. Hey, it didn't matter. Florence still had that one-point lead, and although Brandon Farley did miss it, the big guys up front in Brian Madden and Anthony uh, Bradine, they got the job done, kept, uh, kept ALA West Foothills from getting the ball, and that did seal... Uh, did seal the win for Florence. Now they are up against number five, Holbrook. It's going to be a long uh, trip up there. But the thing here is that Holbrook really likes to shoot the threes, which is how ALA West Foothills managed to stay in the game and kind of come back. So, you know, it's going to be up to Florence to stick to their game plan, whatever that is, whatever they can uh, conjure up in this one day they have to prepare. And we'll have to see what waiting happens with this game. Uh, looking ahead at our other games, the other teams that also made it they had a they had a buy in this first round as they managed to secure the top eight seats and that is number seven ala ironwood they are going to be hosting number 10 snowflake and number three coolidge who will be hosting number 14 page coolidge is looking to make it back to the state tournament for a second year and hopefully get a rematch against valley christian when it really matters and get that win this time around but we will have to wait and see what happens on saturday for a full breakdown of these other two games with coolidge and ala Ironwood. Be sure to tune in to our sports show uh, that comes out every week, Pinal Prep Spotlight with David and me. And for the full coverage of Florence's game on Thursday, be sure to check out my story on Pinal Central.